I was asked to speak about a Jewish activist's perspective on the Nakba, so I'm going to share a quick story about how I learned about the Nakba, and I'm going to leave pretty quickly. The first time I ever saw Gaza, I had no idea what I was looking at. Unfortunately, when you grow up in the Jewish community today, you're not provided the adequate information that you need to go out into the world to make informed decisions. I was young, I was a child, I was on an Israeli kibbutz. And on that kibbutz, even though I didn't know what I was looking at when I saw Gaza, there was a small tomb that caught my interest. It had writing I couldn't understand on it, it was very old, and I wanted to know more about it. At first I wanted to know who made it. Oh, the people who lived here before made it. Who are the people who lived here before? Oh, they're these people. Where are they now? And at some point, when you ask more and more questions, there's no going back. You know too much. And at some point, as you'll hear some of the people across the road perhaps shouting me right now, I can't really tell what they're saying exactly, you go from being a, a polite nuisance in the community to being a traitor, a capo. Words I don't even want to utter that have been thrown in my direction. Which is interesting. They call me a traitor. But for many of us in my position, there's nothing more than the sense of betrayal when you realize that the things you were, the grand ideals you were taught to you when you were a kid were a lie and a false promise. In my community, when I was growing up, they taught us one most the one of the most important principles of the Torah was in a simple line. Sedek, Sedek, Teodoth, Sedek. Justice, justice, you shall seek justice. And at least in my community, that wasn't justice but. That wasn't justice but you can go out there and do this. It was justice full stop. And if I have a message for the people across the road right now, it's this. Justice is indiscriminate. Justice is inconvenient. And justice always prevails. There are more and more... There are more and more young Jews across the world right now, I'm happy to say, who are beginning to realize this and beginning to realize other, truth, other truths. For example, that promises of self-determination, promises of freedom, prom promises of democracy are an utter, utter sham as long as innocent protesters are being killed, as long as family homes are being bulldozed, 